we don't have to like everything that happens in our life and most of the time you know in certain situations we don't but judging it or creating um, an essence where you're storing it when you're feeling a pain when you and all of us have experienced it at some point you know just think back when you were a kid or a teenager and you got in an argument with your best friend if you think about walking away maybe you got a pain in your stomach maybe you got um, a headache maybe you got the flu the next day um, it's your body saying hey you've stored an emotion in here that's not healthy for me and I need you to let it go and and that's all it is so in metaphysics so much is taught about body mind spirit and and the adage has always been the body or the soul is the most important it's number one and number two is your brain because you're so smart and your body is the temple that houses those two and I think about it differently I think that the soul is the most important but your body is the, the vehicle in which soul speaks. If you're not feeling well, if you get the stomach ache, you get a bug, you get the flu, I don't care what it is, you get cancer, um, you know, you get chronic fatigue, whatever it is, is your body, your soul saying to your body, hey, there's an emotion going on in here that I really need you to become aware of. I really need you to take time, sit down, figure out what this emotion is. And your brain is the least important because your brain allows you to go into fear. Your brain allows you to go into I can't. The brain allows you to go into judgment. The brain allows you to go into defeat. The brain allows you to go into negativity. It is truly the least important. Yes, you can use it for positive and you can use it for excitement. And you can use it for all the fun things that you want to do in your life. But you really need to sit back and go, whoa, it also can be your greatest hindrance. So if you pay attention to your body, then you're understanding that your body in and of itself is letting you know that there's an emotion that needs to be dealt with. And the best course of action is really doing color works or tone works or our new um, color falls uh, MP3, um, where you sit and you say to your body, you know, what color, what tone, whatever, what do I need to bring into consciousness the emotion behind this illness? And you just write down what comes up. Maybe it's a word, maybe it's a sentence, maybe it's a whole paragraph. But you just go ahead and write that down and I want you to do it every day for 10 days without looking back at what you had written before. And as you write that down, after 10 days, then sit and reread what it was that you've written. And you'll see a common theme coming through there. You'll see a common emotion that's coming through there that really um, is the crux of what your issue 